Aubigon is a French perfume house established in 1775 by Jean-Francois Aubigon at the age of 19 years old. Aubigon is an old perfume house and the earliest edition was created in 1882 and the newest one is from 2022 and the parent company is Paris Group. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back and today we're going to talk about Fougère Royale, which was launched originally in 2010. And the nose behind this fragrance is Rodrigo Flores Roux. All right, so uh, Fougère Royale is the first fragrance of the family Fougère, which was created by perfumer Paul Parquet in 1882. Fougère Royale is a beautiful old school Fougère with a modern twist. It is extremely smoldering, powerful, masculine, but yet clean and smooth scent. Interestingly, in 1882 later, production was canceled by International Fragrance Association because of the lack of ingredients. But the scent was preserved at the Fragrance Archive in Warsaw until 2010 when it was recreated again. First of all, I wanted to make it clear that I'm usually not a big fan of Fougère fragrances. But when I smelled this, there's something about it that made me to really like it. It took me back in time when my father used to get up early in the morning, shave his face, and then put on his cologne, and the whole house would smell like this type of fougère type of a cologne. So it is a nostalgic type of a scent for me. Fougère Royale is the epitome of class and maturity in a bottle. A fragrance for a man with class and sense of style that is not trying to shout, hey, look at me. But when he enters the room, everyone notices him and how manly and smoldering he is. Someone that you can count on, someone that you could hold responsible, someone that you could grow old with. It is just a gentleman in a bottle. All right, let's spray some of this and see what we get. Fougère Royale. I love the bottle, very beautiful. This thing is so uh, aromatic, it's so fresh, it's so smooth. Very smoldering, very manly, very gentleman-like. I think every man should own this in their collection and I totally can see Tom Ford Rock in this. He loves Fougère fragrances. All right, so uh, Fougère Royale opens up with notes of bergamot, lavender, chamomile, and some beautiful green notes. So the opening is fresh, zesty, and spicy, but it quickly opens up to its floral and herbal heart, which you're welcomed with geranium, carnation, lilac, and rose. And you definitely get this sweet and warm, powdery, tenacious, spicy note from cinnamon. So besides the aromatic, fresh, spicy, floral, green, and herbal aspects of this fragrance, you also get this warm, spicy cord from cinnamon as well, which balances out this beautiful fougère really nicely. Now, as the fragrance opens up more and more, you realize that there's this amber body to it as well, which is not very strong. It's just a hint of it to kind of balance out the fragrance and also give it a robust body to it as well. Yeah, the oak moss and clary sage are strong in this fragrance, especially as it opens up. So the oak moss, clary sage, and patchouli with low doses of cumarine play a big role to create herbal, green, mossy, and earthy vibe to this fragrance. The oak moss gives that inky, bitter smelling forest floor odor profile, which makes this scent beautiful. The big dose of clary sage helps with this soft and sweet herbaceous scent odor with lavender, balsamic, and amber musky nuances. Even though Fougère Royale dries down to a smooth bed of oak moss and amber, it still keeps its freshness and herbaceous aromatic aspects of it. A classy, sophisticated gentleman type of a scent that every man should own in their collection. Definitely a must-have for Fougère lovers. So all in all, what you get with Fougère Royale, it is aromatic, it's citrusy, you have a big dose of lavender, it is green, very spicy, floral, herbal, mossy, and earthy, but yet warm, spicy at the same time as well. I also wanted to mention, I definitely do get hints of rose, very fresh and light type of a rose in this fragrance as well. 
All right, so as far as the performance and longevity goes, on my skin, it lasts between eight to nine hours, which is fantastic. Now, if I spray it on my outfit, it lasts even longer. Uh, so it is a long lasting fragrance for being a fresh fragrance. Now, as far as the uh, projection sillage goes, it has an enormous sillage and on initial spray, it does about five to six feet. So it does great as far as the projection sillage goes. Now, as far as the compliments goes, this one is no brainer. I mean, we're talking about a Fougère fragrance. A lot of people like this, gentlemen and ladies, they love this fragrance. This is one of those fragrances that's very smoldering, it's very manly, it's very clean, it's very fresh, um, it's very mass pleasing, uh, and uh, ladies love that on a man. I mean, it's a uh, James Bond type of a fragrance. So I think that when it comes to compliments, it's no brainer, it gets a lot of compliments. And I think every man should own this in their collection. Now, as far as the versatility goes, it can be a signature scent. It is a very versatile scent. Uh, you can wear this any occasion, dressed down, dressed up, uh, specifically to work, would do phenomenal. Um, uh, you can also wear this for a night out or dating whatsoever, it would definitely work. Uh, now, as far as the uniqueness goes, it is, it is a Fougère fragrance, so it's not a unique scent, but it is the OG of all the Fougère fragrances. So that alone makes it very unique. And uh, that's it, guys. That's all I have for Fougère Royale. If you own this fragrance, please let me know in the comment section what's your take on it. And if you don't own it, I think this is one of the ones that you can easily blind buy and you should definitely own this in your collection. And that's it, you guys. That's all I have. Thank you so much. And hopefully I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye.